All right, I saw this story here uh, earlier today when I was checking email, and it's about this police officer down in uh, Louisiana that's calling out the violent gang people and everything, and I thought it's kind of weird. Here, just had kind of a weird vibe about it, and I watched it, and I just want to use this video to kind of warn about something here. We're going to watch this video. It's only 2 minutes and 50 seconds long, less than 3 minutes, so we're going to watch it. I'm going to pause it periodically just to make a few points here and there and I'm gonna then we're gonna watch another video about this guy uh, to kind of tie things together okay check this out the gremlin street gang is responsible for hundreds of violent crimes murders armed robberies witness intimidation burglaries drug trafficking extortion and brutal beatings we've arrested ten of these thugs and have warrants on seven more Every one of these animals is most definitely armed and dangerous. Darren Carter, Aaron Carter, Travis Cooper, Cody Guidry, Jaron Diggs, Kirkland Demache, and Jonathan Landry. We have felony warrants for your arrest. You will be hunted. You will be tracked. And if you raise your weapon to a man like me, we'll return fire with superior fire. Darren Carter. You think men like these are afraid of an uneducated, 125-pound punk like you? Okay, let me just pause it there for a minute. Okay, um, peace officer? Uh, is this a guy that, that's looking for peace or looking for a fight? I'm going to show you why I believe he has this uh, extreme militant attitude. But um, he calls them animals. And, you know, I'm sure that these gang members, I'm not defending the gang members, I'm sure that they are, they do act like animals. But he says that they're involved in drug trafficking. Now, I got a big problem with a police officer going out after low-level drug traffickers. Because you cut off, you go back to the source where it's coming from. Uh, how are they dealing in cocaine? Cocaine doesn't grow in America. How are they getting cocaine from another country? Uh, you can do the study and do the research. The CIA, the Catholics in Action, as it's been well said, because it was founded by a Roman Catholic, while Bill Donovan, and uh, the Catholic Church controls the CIA. Uh, you can do the research into that. There's a lot of the heads of the CIA and things are Catholics, and they do the bidding of the Roman Catholic Church. But uh, they are the ones who bring in the drugs. There was a guy, Michael Rupert. He was, a, I think, an LAPD police officer. And he found it in his investigations and things. I mean, it's been proven time and time again that the CIA has shipped in the drugs. So you go out and you say, oh, I'm going to go after these animals and I'm going to attack these guys and stuff like this. But you're not cutting off the source. You're just going out and, and hunting down. He's treating this thing like a hunting thing here. Just going to go down and, and talk like a thug to defeat thugs. Now I'm going to show you. You say, well, what's the significance? Okay, the guy's a little bit too militant or whatever. I'm going to show you the significance that this is Bible prophecy being fulfilled. Let's keep watching here a little bit. It's never won a fair fight in your life and hold your gun sideways. Young man, I'll meet you on solid ground anytime, anywhere, light or heavy. Makes no difference to me. You won't walk away. Look at you. Men like us, son, we do dumbbell presses with weights bigger than you. And the convicts in jail, most of those men are good people who just found themselves crossed with the law. They're not evil, and they don't respect you or any punk like you. They'll toss you around like a rag doll. I encourage every citizen watching this to look into your own heart and find the American courage that conquers all evil. Find the American courage that conquers all evil. Really? Okay. Uh, pride goeth before destruction and an haughty spirit before a fall. You say, well, the guy's not a Christian. Oh, oh, well, just, just don't get ahead of me. Okay. Keep watching. I implore you to listen to this message and stand up. Take back your streets. Take back your country. Come forward with information about these heathens that have terrorized your community. Whew. Oh, boy. These heathens that have terrorized your community. Keep that one in mind. And for those who would use this message as a way to create false racial division in our country, take a close look behind me, standing next to every cop 
is a leader of our black community. This is not about race. It's about right versus wrong. So uh, he has the preachers working with law enforcement. Huh. Uh, I thought that there was supposed to be separation of church and state. Oh, uh, well, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but uh, when you see what this uh, police officer, the particular uh, church that he's a part of, you'll understand. Continue. One last message to the gremlins. You don't like the things I've told you tonight? I got one thing to say. I'm easy to find. On behalf of the St. Landry Parish Sheriff's Office, the Louisiana State Police, the U.S. Marshals, and every cop and law-abiding citizen from sea to shining sea, I'm Captain Clay Higgins asking every patriot to stand up, share this video, and send a clear message to the world. We're Americans. We'd rather die on our feet than live on our knees. I'd rather die on our feet than live on our knees. Well, uh, a Christian uh, should be on their knees praying to the Lord Jesus Christ. But uh, he said, share this video. Okay, so don't try to get me with copyright infringement or something like that. He said to share the video. All right, and I'm doing this purely for educational purposes, so I'm protected under U.S. Copyright Law Section 107 of Fair Use. So some internet wing nut out there is going to try to cite me for violating copyright law. He said, share the video. That's what I'm doing. But now here's his actual Clay Higgins gear uh, channel. He's only got 205 subscribers. I'd say keep an eye on that. It's probably going to skyrocket. But uh, let's watch a little bit of this thing too. Thank you for visiting the Captain Higgins gear website. I'm Captain Clay Higgins. It's my hope that you enjoy your visit. I'd like to share with you, if I may, some humble thoughts about the message and the foundational meaning behind Captain Higgins Gear, about the mission we're on, a mission we hope you'll support. He's on a mission. Hmm. And look up over here, over his shoulder there, you'll see the painting, a Roman Catholic painting of the Last Supper. Keep watching. This is my home. I live here with my beautiful wife, Becca. It's a very modest home, built in 1950, barely a thousand square feet, and heated by two small, old-school propane heaters. It has seven wall sockets and eight light switches. Our home is a humble reflection of the simple lives we live. It's filled with love and laughter. We're happy here and safe. It's our place of refuge from the world. But many folks have no home, no place of refuge. Our mission is to help fix that. As a night shift cop for many years, on countless occasions I felt the pain and anguish of fellow Americans that were far down on their luck, homeless, almost hopeless. I suffered in my heart to know that I had no... Pause it again there. There's the refrigerator, some other kind of saint or something there on that one. Can't make it out exactly, but there's some saints over here on top of the piano as well. More little statues, idols actually. Continue. No place to bring them. No simple shelter where they could feel safe, have a meal, clean themselves up and rest. Through the years, I've fed and sheltered many out of my own pocket. I intend to do that again. St. Landry is one of the poorest parishes in Louisiana. We have no proper shelter for the homeless, no place where a woman escaping from domestic abuse can seek refuge. Captain Higgins Gear is a commercial LLC with charitable intent. We have expenses, employees to pay, and investors who expect their dividends, but a large portion of our earnings will go towards the establishment of a faith-based shelter for the indigent of St. Landry Parish. A place of Christian refuge for the fallen. A place of redemption. A home where a cop can call at 2 in the morning on a holiday weekend requesting shelter for the lost. 
It's a place of redemption. But isn't that just heartwarming? I mean, Roman Catholic, and he sits down, his Bible's waiting for him there on the front porch swing, and right beside the idol of the Queen of Hell there, uh, Mary, the Semiramis of Roman Catholicism. She's not the Mary of the Bible, you know, but, uh, you know, I mean, just heartwarming seeing the Roman Catholic, you know, St. Andrew's Parish down there, the area, you know, and, and uh, they need your money. Well, why don't you contact the Vatican? That's the richest organization in the entire world. You know, it's, it's so funny, these, these Catholics, you know. And, you know, and I'm not saying some of the stuff that the guy does is okay. I'm not saying I can condemn everything that he's doing. But the undertones here, it's bad. I mean, he's, bad people are heathens. We're on a mission. Keep listening. And have a compassionate human being answer that phone and tell the officer, bring them here. We have a place prepared. I'm just a simple man. I never expected fame and fortune and never sought it. But I do intend to embrace the path the Lord has prepared for me. I have a new mission. And it's my prayer that you'll join me on this mission. Every product sold by Captain Higgins Gear is top shelf, the finest quality, and unconditionally guaranteed by me. Every piece of gear is imbued with the uplifting message of redemption. I ask you to share the message, wear the message, and help us on our righteous journey. I'm Captain Clay Higgins, and I very much appreciate this moment of your time. So, join us on our righteous mission. Oh boy. Uh, here's where it's important, okay? Because some people are saying, oh, you're, you're just straining at a gnat here. I mean, you're, you're making a big deal out of this thing. Why are you making such a big deal? He's trying to do nice things. Um, Got to think of where this scripture's at. Okay, John 16, verse 2. I don't have this one memorized as far as where it's at. I don't have all the scriptures memorized. <laughs> it says here, uh, John chapter 16, we'll start at verse 1. These things have I spoken unto you, that ye should not be offended, they shall put you out of the synagogues. Yea, the time cometh that whosoever killeth you will think that he doeth God's service. God's service there. Okay. Uh, all these things will they do unto you because they have not known the Father nor me. Now, this guy here, in spite of his good intentions or whatever else, you cannot know Jesus Christ through the Roman Catholic system. You cannot. Absolutely not. Uh, the Roman Catholic system actually teaches cannibalism of Jesus Christ. You have to continually eat his flesh and drink his blood. Official Catholic doctrine. They put millions upon millions of people to death, Christians to death, back during the Dark Ages, who refused that transubstantiation, the Eucharist uh, ceremony within Catholicism. They said it's not the physical blood or the flesh of Jesus. And because of that, they were tortured and killed, burned at the stake and other horrible stuff that's just too horrible to even fathom. And Roman Catholicism... Uh, is in control of America. Okay, the Catholic Church is in control. The Pope is the real leader of this country. But not openly yet. But they're working very hard to take control of this country openly. And if they do, if Christians silence themselves, if we keep our mouths shut about the reality of Roman Catholicism and how evil it is, and if we say, well, I know good people that are Catholics and I, you know, you make excuses for them. If we do that, I'm telling you what, guys like this are going to be hunting down heathen Bible believers. Right? I have the uh, Jesuit Dewey Reams uh, New Testament, and they actually say back in Revelation 17, I showed this in other videos, they actually say back there that to kill a uh, uh, heretic is no different than killing a thief or a murderer. He's going after gang members, you know, right here. There he is, he's going after gang members, you know, a tough guy with his all of his uh, military gear and his AR-15 there and everything else. And he's going after the gang members, and I'll, you, you come after me, you go ahead, you know, come after me, I'll kill you, you know. You see? This is what's going to be going on in the time of Jacob's trouble. They are going to hunt people down that are, uh, that missed the rapture, and they're going to be hunting them down like that, like animals. That's what he said. 
these guys are animals. I'm going to hunt them down. You will be hunted. If you raise your gun at me, I will meet you with superior force. We're looking at the time of Jacob's Trouble militarized police force right here. No more police officer coming and trying to work things out peacefully. No, no, no. You raise any kind of weapon against me, I'll kill you where you stand. You're an animal. You're a heathen. I have a righteous cause, don't you know? Man, oh man. Uh, I make these videos, brethren, just to, just to keep people updated and aware of what's going on with prophecy and just simply to say, what on earth are you waiting for if you're not saved? Man, <laughs> get saved. You want to get out of this nightmare that's coming? You know, and all these people, oh, we're going to go through the tribulation and it's going to be wonderful because we'll prove ourselves as martyrs and things like this. Really? <laughs> you want that coming after you? Not me. Okay? I'm going to fight right now as much as I can, as hard as I can. I'm going to be as vocal as I can against the true enemy, enemy which is Roman Catholicism. You say, well, what about the Illuminati? The Illuminati was created by Roman Catholicism. You say, what about the Council on Foreign Relations? Created by Roman Catholicism. Created by the Jesuits. Many of the CFR members are Jesuits. You know, what about uh, this? What about that? Knights of Malta run this, you know. It ties back to the Roman Catholic Church. And you know what's funny? Right now, uh, we're going through the book of Revelation in our morning devotions. And we just read Revelation chapter 17. And it says there, Revelation 17, verse 18, And the woman which thou sawest is that great city, Vatican City, which reigneth over the kings of the earth. Okay, America as a nation, they say, America is Mystery Babylon. Stupid nonsense. It's Catholics that say that. Uh, America is not a city. You say, well, the Illuminati is the, a Mystery Babylon. The Illuminati is not a city. Okay, no, it's a Roman Catholicism. You say, what about Islam? Radical Islam. It's Mecca or something is the city. Stupid. Islam does not rule this world. And, of course, you have you know people, oh, it's the Jews, it's the Jews. <laughs> That's the real dumb one. Uh, the Jews do not rule things, okay? I mean, you know, if anybody thinks that the Jews are more powerful than the Vatican, and they really think that, uh, they need to have their head examined, okay? Uh, the Jews aren't running things. The Catholics are. And, by the way, the Jews there, if you go back to verse seven, or chapter 17, verse 4, the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet collar and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. That's not descriptive of the Jews. It's descriptive of the Roman Catholic system. Purple and scarlet. The collars of the Vatican. The collars of the cardinals and the bishops. In abundance. Gold, silver, precious stones. Excuse me, not silver. Gold and, uh, uh, where does it say it there? Gold and precious stones and pearls. In abundance. Roman Catholicism is the enemy. You know, and again, a lot of Christians are getting sidetracked on all this patriot stuff and oh, it's wonderful. We could maybe bring back our country and Donald Trump, I think, would be really good for our nation and stuff like this. Donald Trump's a Jesuit. <laughs> and all this stuff, you know, oh, uh, what about uh, Scalia uh, or whatever this this judge and things like this? He was he killed by the Illuminati maybe because he was a patriot? He was a Roman Catholic. He wasn't some kind of a patriot or a good guy or something like this. It's about Catholicism versus Bible-believing Christianity. That's where the battle is. The new versions come from the Vatican. The whole modern rock system and everything else, it goes back to the Vatican. That's our enemy. That's what gets destroyed in Revelation chapter 18. And we're cheering it in Revelation chapter 19, the saints that are in heaven. We get up there before, you know, the end of the time of Jacob's trouble there, the tribulation. Stay focused on what matters, brethren. Bible-believing Christianity versus Catholicism. Don't waste your time with getting all worked up about the CFR and the Illuminati and the Bilderberg conspiracy and all this other stuff. It's the Catholic Church. They created Islam. They created the Illuminati. They created all these other secret societies. They created the CIA. If this guy was really interested in stopping crime, he'd turn against the Catholic system that he's a part of and go after them because they're the ones that are causing the crime. So, just another little prophecy update there. Uh, stay focused, brethren. 
And you know, and you know, what do we do about the Catholic Church? Oh, should we go out there and bomb their church buildings or things like? No, 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 no. That's what they would want you to do. No violence. No violence. This, this. Oh, we're going to start right-wing fascism or something like this, and we're going to retake America. You, you, you aren't reading the Bible. You aren't getting that stuff from the New Testament. Give me a break. You know the way you battle uh, Roman Catholicism? With a spiritual weapon. This book that they hate. Let me show you the uh, here in the dedicatory. Is it in the beginning? Show you this real quickly here, and then we'll we'll end this little video. It says here, so that if on the one side we shall be traduced by popish persons at home or abroad, who therefore will malign us because we are poor instruments to make God's holy truth to be yet more and more known unto the people whom they desire still to keep in ignorance and darkness. Or if on the other side we shall be maligned by self-conceited brethren who run their own ways and give liking unto nothing but what is framed by themselves and hammered on their anvil. It talks another place about that man of sin. Yeah, okay. Uh, the first part here. Uh, Your majesty toward the house of God doth not slack or go backward, but is more and more kindled, manifesting itself abroad in the farthest parts of Christendom, by writing in defense of the truth, which hath given such a blow unto that man of sin as will not be healed. See if it'll focus here. This way. And there you go. Right there. Dedicatory to King James. Sorry, I'm not real good at uh, getting this stuff in focus. The translators of this King James Bible, they knew what the real issue was. They knew that once we get this book in our hands, we can go out there and we can preach to those lost Catholics. We can get them saved. And I thank the Lord I know that there are many Catholics that have gotten saved through this ministry. And Jesus Christ gets all the, all the glory for that. And uh, we are very blessed by that. And that's what this issue is about. That guy needs Jesus. You know, that's the whole thing. He is a radical Roman Catholic uh, going out talking about animals and heathen, these gang members, while defending a church, use that term loosely, uh, defending a church that rapes and molests children into the millions. Kind of odd. And foments wars and brings in the drugs that he supposedly is fighting. Keep your mind focused, brethren. Okay? The Catholic Church is the enemy. The real enemy. The enemy that's behind all the other stuff that you get distracted by. The Roman Catholic system is what the New Testament identifies as the enemy of the truth. Don't lose focus.